Hi everybody, Robert Jones back today doing some taste tests for you guys. And I have to tell you, I don't know if you guys know, but I have about four banker's boxes. Banker's boxes are those boxes that are like for file folders, full of taste test items waiting to come on the show. They're in the wings. They're just waiting to be brought on and tasted and told about you. But before we get there, I wanted to do a set of videos for um, a Christmas gift that I got from my friend Steve. Steve, thank you very much. And I got to show you this. This is a crazy. He brought me a taste test bonanza. There's so much stuff here. I tried to put it all on a board so you guys can see. Can you see it all? Oh, the pate just fell over. All right, hold on. All right, can you guys see? All right, look at all these items. I am so excited. Oh, so many items. Items. All right, Steve, I wanted to show everybody. So, so let me give you a little parade here. So we got, I'm going to break this into three videos. We got the sweet stuff. We got the saucy stuff. And then we got the cheesy, creamy goodness stuff. So I'm going to break this into three videos for you guys. But I just want to show you where we're going on this journey. Jack Daniels is wiggling. We got coffee. All right, we got all three of this. Thank you, Steve. All right, so this video, let's do the sauces. We're going to do the sauces. So uh, let me clear this up. Ooh, ooh. These are the sauces. So we have five different sauces here. Um, I believe these came from World Market. Um, the first one we have is an orange blossom honey. I love honey. So orange blossom honey. The second one is a tangy apricot chipotle sauce. Tangy apricot chipotle. And this one is a Bavarian ale mustard. I'm trying to get you guys to see ale mustard. And this one is called Drunken Monkey. This one I'm a little confused about. It says sugar coated bananas, a splash of rum, and a dash of lime. So that's going to be kind of crazy. And then uh, we have a fig spread product of Croatia. That's interesting. Product of Croatia. Trying to get the light. There you go. Product of Croatia. All right, you guys. So I think I'm going to start. I got some little spoons here. It's kind of exciting. Found a little set of spoons. I sell stuff like this on Etsy, if you guys didn't know. If you're looking for fun things like this, I find these. Um, I love to go to estate sales, and I find old um, sets of spoons and all kinds of stuff, and I try to bring those to people that are available. But it's perfect because I got five spoons, and I got five things to try here. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the mustard. So this says that it is beer mustard. Um, I love me some mustard on hot dogs or almost anything. Um, some people in the house don't like mustard as much as I do. But I like mustard. Um, let's see. It says water, vinegar, mustard, seed, salt, sugar, barley, wheat, hops, xanthan gum, and spices. And this is from Sun Prairie, Wisconsin. Did you hear that? Email. All right. So it says best used before July of 2018. So I think we got all some time. All right. So let's try the no pop. Oh, smells like. Okay. Now most people aren't going to taste mustard, but I love mustard. So. All right, got a little taste here. Tasty, tasty. Oh, that's nice. You know the really seedy mustards? It's like that. It's like the real seedy ones, but it's ground, so it's smooth. That is really good. Um, it's kind of like a Goulden's, Goulden's Dark, if you're familiar with that. There we go, mustard. Delicious. All right, this is the, it's really tiny, Millie Lux brand, Millie Lux. Really lacks. All right. Next, we have the tangy apricot chipotle sauce for grilling, dipping, and appetizer. So I don't know how much dipping and appetizer. This is a tiny bottle. It's like three inches. But I'm excited to try it. Um, apricot puree, water, ascorbic acid, sugar, apple cider vinegar, white vinegar. My mouth is watering from that mustard. Jalapeno peppers, because it's jalapeno business. Salt, garlic powder, chipotle peppers, and pectin. This is from LWC Brands of Dallas, Texas. Cheers, Dallas. All right, this is the Tangy Apricot. Ooh, it's, a, it's kind of thin. I thought it would be thicker. Maybe a new spoon, fresh spoon. Maybe if I dig down, okay. No, no, it's pretty, it's pretty thin. Can you guys see that? It's pretty thin, but it does, has a chunk. So, all right, let's give this a little taste. 
Ooh, very apricot-y. Mm, that's not... That's really good. Bronco Bob's. Bronco Bob's doing it right. Bronco Bob's, I'd give you like an eight or nine. That's pretty good. Mm. Mm. Lick the spoon on that one. Good job, Bronco Bob's. Oh, very apricotty. Not too spicy. Probably like a two. I could totally, I could totally see grilling with that. All right, Bronco Bob's. Good job. All right, what else we got here? Drunken monkey or fig or honey. I think I'm going to... Oh, I don't know which one to do next. Okay, I'm going to do the fig. Because I think that's going to be the less of the sweet one. Uh, Dalmatia fig spread. Product of Croatia. Figs, sugar, water, fruit, pectin, citric acid, lactic acid, ascorbic acid. So lots of acids. Uh, distributed by Atlanta group of... Elizabeth in the Jersey. Jersey in the house. All right. So let's try the fig spread. I need to cut this. I have a cheese knife. Cut that. Give it a pop. Oh, a pop. Good. All right. It's thick. It's not coming out. That's good. All right. Do the fig. I love fig jam. My mom at Christmas time had this giant jar of fig jam and it was, it was pretty good. Okay. This stuff is super thick. Super thick. All right. Here we go. Fig jam. Sorry, fig spread. Mmm. Mmm. If you watched any of my fig videos, you will know I love figs. Mmm. That's nice. I don't know how much that's going to put on. That's like two toasts worth. So this would be good for like, you know, a hotel room. It's like two toasts worth of, of jam in there. But that's really good. Nice fig. Love figs. Love figs. All right. Moving on. All right. Let's try the orange blossom honey. Orange blossom honey. Where is this from? Savannah, Georgia. Thick and rich orange blossom honey from Florida. So I guess it's distributed by Savannah. Okay. Is sweet as candy. Sweet explosion of citrus followed by hints of toffee and almonds. And that is some tiny writing. All right. So, oh, it has a little thing here you can pull. That's exciting. And then comes off. All right. Um, this is an interesting size. I've never seen a jar this shape before. It has a glass lip and a top. That's kind of nice. It is the 85 gram or three ounce size used before 2021. It's good for a while. All right. Let's give it a smell. Mmm. Smells very honey. Now, if you can see, there's a chunk right there. It's already starting to crystallize for some reason. Oh, well. All right. Let's get a little spoon. Oh, the whole thing is starting to crystallize. It's okay. I don't mind crystallized honey. So let's get us a chunk here. Wow. It's very orange blossom flavored. It's good. It's really nice. Um, it's honey. It's sweet. I'm put it in tea. This would be really good with like a, a mint tea, I think. Something like that. A citrusy tea. Um, even a bergamot, something with bergamot. Very nice. Mm. Got a little. Maybe that's something else. Okay. All right. And finally, the one that I have been crazy to figure out what this is. It says banana rum spread. Sugar-coated bananas, a splash of rum, and a dash of lime. A small batch production. Ingredients. Bananas, sugar, lime, rum. Hey. Where's this from? This is from, it's from Brooklyn! Distributed by The Jam Stand, Flushing Avenue, Brooklyn. There you go. All right. Check it out. Drunken Monkey. Drunken Monkey. The Drunken Monkey. The lid is so big compared to the jar. All right. Oh, little pop. It smells like dried bananas. You know when you get dried bananas, how they have that really strong banana smell? That's what it smells like. All right. And our final spoon. Tiny spoon. Ooh, it's kind of weird. It's got like clear. Can you see? It has like clear liquid. And then it has like a, the middle kind of moves. It's weird. All right. Let's get a little spoonful here. It's very banana.
There is a lot going on there. Wow. Okay. I think I need another bite. If you don't like the dry banana flavor, you are not going to like this. This is very complex. Okay. So here's what's going on. First, you get the banana flavor. All right. I'm trying another taste. Here's what's freaking me out. It has a very strange texture. It's kind of, um, it's kind of pulpy. It's almost got like string fibers, but I guess that's what happens when you got bananas. All right, so here's what you got going on. You've got the banana, you've got the lime, you get the banana, then you get the sourness of the lime, and then you get the sweet, and then you get that toffee note. What are they calling it on here? The rum. Oh, okay, so that's the rum. It's a rum kind of burnt sugar taste. So that's rum is made from sugar. Hey. And you really get that smoky, caramely flavor. I have to keep tasting this. That's very interesting. It's a little tart, which I was not expecting. I thought it was going to be sweeter. The lime in there is making it a little bit tart. So that's, that's quite interesting stuff. If you guys try that, let me know. Have you ever had that drunken monkey? All right, you guys, we've reached the end. We've reached the end of all five of our flavors here. Five flavor sauces from Steve. Um, we got the mustard, just to review, we have the mustard. We had the peach chipotle, or sorry, apricot chipotle. Then we had the, the fig spread, and we had the honey, and then we had the monkey. Have you guys tried these? Let me know. All right, you guys, I'm Robert Jones. I hope you enjoyed this taste test video, and I will see you next time. Bye.